Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited because it's Saturday and we got invited to go to game night and it's been a while since we've done one because of the holidays and stuff. So I'm super excited that we're restarting this again with our friends and game night is honestly my favorite night. Like I love the simplicity of board games and card games and just getting together and having good food and enjoying each other and just getting out of my house for once because me and my husband don't typically go out in the town we don't go out to eat very often. We don't go to the movies. We don't really do much, and especially since we had Tennyson. We haven't left her with the babysitter, so we don't ever really go out and do things. And she will be coming with us tonight as well. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. And when we do these game nights, we do a theme of potluck. And tonight's theme is Italian appetizers. And I chose to make a hot Italian dip. And it is keto friendly, the dip is, but we're gonna be using baguettes to dip with it. So that's not keto friendly. You can choose to do whatever you'd like with it, but if you wanna try it, I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you how I make it. It's super delicious. Um, it's a quick and easy thing. It bakes in the oven for, I believe, 30 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. So it's super easy. Bake it, eat it, delicious. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and come along with me while I show you how to make this dip. So to start, you're gonna need Italian hot sausage. You can use mild. Some Italian seasoning. Philadelphia cream cheese. Shredded Parmesan. Banana peppers. And the Borson cheese spread, and you're gonna need two of them. Now we're gonna go ahead and brown our sausage. I had to buy my sausage in the links this time. They were out of the hot in the ground. So I'm just gonna take the casings off and I'm gonna throw it into a hot skillet and brown that up. And when it's done, we will drain it and then add it to our dip. So when I drain meat into my sink, I typically take a bunch of paper towels, roll them up, and cover my drain with it so a very little amount ever goes down my drain. I can't stand pouring hot grease down my drain. So while our meat is kind of cooling down and finishing draining, we're going to combine the cream cheese, the Borson cheese, and I forgot to tell you guys, mayonnaise goes in this. It's not very much, I believe it's like three-fourths of a cup. This is the mayonnaise I'm using right now because it's what I have on hand. I don't really know this brand very well, so I don't really know how it tastes inside of recipes. I used it to um, cover my turkey in, actually. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add all this together, mix it in, and then we'll go on to the next ingredients. So the recipe I'm following calls for them to stay sliced this way, but for me, it wasn't really what I wanted to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and give them a rough chop so that they're more evenly dispersed throughout the dip. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our baking dish. I went ahead and sprayed mine with Pam just because it made me feel safer to have nothing stick to it. I added everything to it. Now 
Now the recipe I'm following says to only use a teaspoon, but I went ahead and just kind of sprinkled half the packet over the top of it because I wanted that extra zesty Italian flavoring. I typically don't follow recipes to the tea, just like the, the Parmesan cheese in this. It asked for three tablespoons. I kind of just spread it all over because I wanted that crispy Parmesan um, topping. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the oven. I did preheat the oven to 350 and we're gonna bake it for 25 minutes. So real quick guys, I made a big mistake when I made this recipe just now. Um, blonde moment, I used banana peppers instead of pepperoncinis as the recipe called for. And I thought they were the same thing, so let's just hope it still tastes good. I've had hot Italian dip before, but now I'm kind of nervous. So yeah. So it's been the 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the oven. And I will say that this dish was honestly a huge hit at the party. We finished almost ha over half of it before all the guests showed up and the banana peppers were just fine in it and it tasted so good with the baguettes and I will definitely be making this again. I don't know if I'll change anything about it because I actually loved it so much. And I actually got my big um, baguette rolls from Kroger, two for three dollars. Couldn't beat the deal. If you guys like what you see, give this video a like. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.